I'm going to stand here. Hi, um, I have 10 minutes and a lot of slides. I'm going to get straight to it. My name is Tanuj Bhojwani. I work at something called People Plus AI. This is a not-for-profit funded by Nandan, Rohini and co. Basically part of the team that worked on DPIs. Um, and what we are trying to do is create, make sure that we don't enter in the AI age, a future by default. What's a future by default? A place where humanity gets shaped by the evolution of technology. Fancy words, what I mean is this, that today if you want to start a Thai food restaurant, your best bet is to name it Thai food near me because that's how we Google for restaurants and go there. If you want to go post a great social media picture about your vacation, something like that at the top, you have to stand in that line at the bottom. Our technology seems to be changing what we do, how we do it. Instead, can we have a future by design where the technology serves us, not the other way around? And this is why we call ourselves people plus AI, because even when a shiny new toy comes into town, how do we make sure that we put people first, the people in the center of the technology? You've seen this slide before when Nandan presented. Uh, is that if you want to bring this DPI approach, this idea of public spirited technology in AI, you need to go back to this idea, right? Like what is AI? It's data compute models. And then you look at it from an India perspective, depending on who you ask, we either have too much or too little data. We either have, you know, we have no foundational models and no way of getting there. Um, and compute is expensive and inaccessible. But really what you're trying to do is look beyond your current set of challenges and you're trying to get to where the puck will be in five years and not where we are today. The secret that I hope to give you, that as fancy as AI sounds, as many qualities we're applying to it about it taking over the world, a new species being long intelligence, AI is just a lot of math, right? It's just a lot of multiplying to be specific, right? And therefore, think of all AI as compute plus plus. When you start thinking of it this way and you actually look at what's happening, and you look past the hype, for each of these three components, Data, oh, we don't have enough data, or we have all the world's data has been scrapped. Frankly, for the intelligence that we're looking at, the amount of data we're going to need has not even been created yet. There was this paper, uh, if, for those of you who know, called uh, the Chinchilla paper, right, where uh, DeepMind released a set of models, each trained on a different size of parameters, different amount of data, to figure out what is the most compute efficient way, given a standard compute budget, what's the size of model I should choose and amount of data I should choose to get the most intelligent model. And they proved the existing state of the art wrong. Turns out we are under training our data sets, our models. We could, even in GPT-3 and others, use a lot more data. The Chinchilla model was 70 billion parameters, but trained on like uh, three times the size of GPT-3 or something like that, and it was still efficient, right? It was, you could still do more. So when you think about this, data is going to be created. Synthetic data is actually easier, cheaper. There are no IP problems, sector and synthetic data. Models are a recipe, right? And today, just yesterday or day before, this Mamba came out, right? The uh, resurgence of recurrent neural networks. We don't even know if transformers are the architecture that will be the future. So we don't know if we need that kind of compute that all the chip companies want to sell you. We might end up needing a lot less for AI. But what we do know is that compute is the only real asset. It's worth building. So when you, the title of my talk was an AI strategy for India, what I call an Adbhud India, we'll come to why. Maybe that's what we should be focusing on, right? In five years, what we will still need, what is not the hype. So the argument for an Adbhud India, and this is where I, I think I slightly differ from a bunch of the most more dominant narratives you hear coming out of the valley. Uh, number one, India needs AI. Like, I, our lives are complex, right? If you're in the West, you get running water, systems work, you know, traffic people follow the rules, you can have self-driving cars, right? In India, even if it is going to work, you're gonna need a lot more AI for everything we have to do. We can barely talk to each other today, right? Uh, the language complexity, diversity. We need AI more than anybody else. We're ready for AI. We're young, we're connected, we're democratic, we have DPIs. People, you've heard all the UPI praise. Uh, Siddharth Tiwari there, who's sitting there, he wrote that paper which said uh, that, you know, in what India did in nine years, we have taken 47 by uh, sort of traditional means. So we're, we're, we're there, right? We're, we're becoming this young, digitally connected country that's hungry for technology as opposed to the US, UK, et cetera, which talk about regulating and stopping, and because to them, technology is a threat. 
right? To them, the current political system, etc., gets superseded by these deep fakes and other things. Whereas in India, we look at technology as an opportunity. And finally, this is what I really think people are not getting. AI is expensive, right? It's a lot of math. And therefore, already, we are seeing that the free model doesn't cut it anymore. Chat GPT asks you to pay, mid-journey asks you to pay. The more you use something, the more you pay, right? Compute, network storage, everything is expensive. The business model will flip. Today, for something like you know, an Instagram or a Meta or whatever, we are maybe 33% of their base, 2% of their revenue, right? But in a transaction economy, not an attention economy, Indians would be willing to pay because the, you know, imagine if I took away Google from you and said, you have to pay me. Most of us would cough up because the internet has been that dramatic a shift in experience in our lives, right? With AI, with language, with other things, this will be the first time that many people come online and for them this AI experience will be the first time they you know, start using it. It's a, it's a huge shift and a leap for them in a way that it is not for other countries, right? So I do believe that Indians will uh, dominate or will be a very important market. In fact, the statement we like to make is that India will be the AI use case capital of the world. For this reason, we're a very large country. We're going to use a lot of compute per capita, right? And a lot of capita. <laughs> so basically, we'll be the US case capital of the world. Um, and that, to get there, we're trying to form a collective that we call Adbud India. That's the vision, that's what we do. I'm going to run really fast through the slides because this is the core of the argument. I'm just going to talk about what we are doing to get there. What is the India-specific strategy? So the AI, Adbud India Collective, Adbud is amazing. India's AI strategy is going to be use case led because instead of trying to boil the ocean, trying to, you know, you heard Nanan say, my model bigger than yours. If we know what we want to do, everything else becomes easier to do. We talk about data compute models, but there are two other things that we don't talk about. Number one, talent. Number two, the use cases which I already did talk about. But the talent, right? India has that young talent, tech. We have this amazing tech VC startup ecosystem. We can actually do this. This is our chance. Uh, there are ecosystem chances at each layer, but there are ways to solve them like this. When you know what task you're trying to do, task-specific benchmarks are much better than generic benchmarks that you know, people don't trust and everybody keeps coming up with their own benchmarks, right? So as India, we can change this around. We can say, hey, we need an AI to do this or solve education or solve healthcare and this is what it needs to be good at. The principles we align the collective on are given here. A lot of this is on docs.adbhut.ai. I'll leave the link at the end of my slides. The other interesting thing we did, launched it at GTS, the paper, is called the open cloud compute. If compute is the only thing that is going to be an asset in five years and everything else is changing, we should be investing in what won't change. So to do this, we're doing essentially, if you know ONDC, an ONDC approach to data center. Santashil, who I saw in the room, uh, is your man to talk to, who's working on this from our side at People Plus AI. So what People Plus AI does is find those use cases, discover those use cases, build infrastructure to take, make sure those inf uh, use cases scale, Grow a community because we're not going to do this alone. It's not one organization. We're not OpenAI or Microsoft or whatever. We don't want to be the one doing everything. We want the Indian ecosystem to succeed, not any one organization. Um, and of course, ideas like this, slides like this, conversations like this, sort of you know, uh, spread that around. Another a, a really good example of a use case that I want to run by you very quickly is what we call Janki Bath, right? It's uh, so you have monkey bath, obviously everybody knows this, but it's you know, from one to many, it's a broadcast. With AI, we think you can listen at scale. You can actually hear what people are saying and understand it and translate it, transcribe it and analyze it at scale. That technology did not exist until last year, right? So this is an example of a use case. We say Mira plus, by the way, that's our mascot, Adarsh Intelligence, I thought it was a, uh, I, I, I realize that's a very age-coded joke. Not a lot of people get it who are younger than me. Um, but imagine if Mira has to you know, get a government scheme, prepare for it, fill up a form. It's very hard for people to fill up a form in India. You and I take it for granted, right? But with AI, you could actually discover, prepare, apply, access, and give feedback back to the government, right? And the government will listen to you. And they'd be able to analyze over millions of Mira, what were the pain points, what went wrong, what didn't work, etc. This is something we believe. 
right? It is about the people. It is about the people that we benefit, but it is also about people like you who are going to make the things that benefit the people, right? And that's why People Plus AI is a small team that helps you do big things. We go from an imagination to the implementation throughout the journey. We are with you. We are either building the infrastructure, demonstrating the use case, talking about you know, celebrating wins in the ecosystem, etc. Um, and oh, this was supposed to be the QR code slides. Oh, there, there it is. Um, so if you want to get involved, uh, docs.adbhut.ai to come sign up with us, be a part of the network. People Plus AI is our general website, and you, know, you can also come volunteer with us and work on some of our initiatives. My time is up. I would like to say thank you, and I'm available outside for any questions you may have.